Do you know the fourth most common cancer in men? Welcome to the Inspired Vitality Show. I'm Catherine, and the answer to my question is bladder cancer. It is a common type of cancer that begins in the cells of the bladder. In honor of Bladder Cancer Awareness Month, I'm sharing with you the signs and the symptoms, as well as steps to reduce your risk of bladder cancer. I'm publishing this video on May 26, 2021, and there is a free online event today that you may want to take advantage of, and I'll share the details with you at the end of this video, so stick with me. Bladder cancer signs and symptoms may include blood in the urine, frequent urination, painful urination, and back pain. There are different types of cells in your bladder that can become cancerous. The type of bladder cell where the cancer begins determines the type of bladder cancer, and doctors will use this information to determine which treatments may work best. There are several factors that may increase the risk of bladder cancer, so let's get started. The first is smoking. When people smoke, the body processes the chemicals in the smoke and excretes some of them into the urine. These harmful chemicals may damage the lining of the bladder, which can increase the risk of cancer. Though it can occur at any age, most people diagnosed with bladder cancer are older than 55. Men are more likely to develop bladder cancer than women are. Exposure to certain chemicals is another risk factor. Kidneys play a key role in filtering harmful chemicals from the bloodstream and moving them into the bladder. Because of this, it's thought that being around certain chemicals may increase the risk of bladder cancer. Chemicals linked to the bladder cancer risk include arsenic and chemicals used in the manufacture of dyes, rubber, leather, textiles, and paint products. Previous cancer treatment is another risk factor. Treatment with the anti-cancer drug cytoxin increases the risk of bladder cancer. People taking this drug are often told to drink plenty of fluids to help protect the bladder from irritation. People who receive radiation treatments aimed at the pelvis for a previous cancer have a higher risk of developing bladder cancer. And then chronic bladder inflammation is a risk factor. So chronic or repeated urinary inf infections or inflammation, such as what might happen with the long-term use of urinary catheter, may increase the risk of a type of bladder cancer. And if you've had bladder cancer before, you're more likely to get it again. Although there's no guaranteed way to prevent bladder cancer, you can take steps to help reduce your risk. If you don't smoke, don't start. If you do smoke, please talk to your doctor about a plan to help you stop. Take caution around chemicals. If you work with chemicals, follow all the safety instructions and avoid exposure. There's evidence that drinking lots of fluids, in particular water, may help lower a person's risk of bladder cancer. With any cancer, to reduce risk, Choose a variety of fruits and vegetables. The antioxidants in fruits and vegetables are powerful in creating an anti-cancer environment in the body. Now on to that free event. It is hosted by the Bladder Cancer Advocacy Network. And again, it is on May 26, 2021. It is at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. It is a free online event. You do need to register, and I'm going to link to that registration page in the video description. It is described as the Bladder Cancer Advocacy Network presenting an opportunity to interact with two of the leading bladder cancer doctors in the country at this free Ask the Experts online event. So, Again, I'm going to link to the registration page for the Ask the Experts online event. And thank you for joining me in learning about bladder cancer. Please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. See you soon.